Wow, this is a this is a really amazing office you have here at uh, Flagistan Pictures. I'm I'm really impressed, and I'm I'm really thankful for the opportunity to pitch this movie idea. I think you're I think you're really gonna love it. Uh, I'll get right into it. Um, so we have uh this kind of bombshell of an assassin, and she's hired to kill uh to kill the rolling stones and so it's like the mid 60s uh, I, I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to stop you right there the rolling stones the, the rolling stones yeah it's like the mid 60s and uh you know it's veering into the late 60s so you have kind of you still have some of that swinging 60s feel but you also have kind of the decadence of the end of the decade and uh you know it, it's all over the world it's like it's it's london it's paris it's new york in full-on mad men mode um all right I'm it, gonna have it, to you know rock you concerts again. overdoses there are retro celebrity cameos up the wazoo uh, and we call it hey this is just the idea this is just the you know the, listen it, it, the, the the cameos and everything it, it's just going to be a huge event picture and we're going to call it killing two stones with one bird and then there's this part that it's like this thing that it's gonna it comes down it i i, I john i i think i think emo goth's gonna want you back at work uh are, are you you sure i am pretty sure i got it i got I, another pitch it, i got another good, pitch. no it's a good idea but i think he really wants you to get back in the mines i'm hearing him getting kind of angsty uh I, you you've got extra sensory perception or something i i yeah yeah i think <laughs> i think we're good <laughs> Well, that was different. Yeah. Do you have any luck pitching those movies? No, no. I, uh, I, I barely got through the first one. Oh, so we're not, we're not getting rich and moving to LA. No, no. Oh. I, I didn't get to the, I didn't get to the, um, the, the scary ghost rising from the field of gourds, terrorizing the neighborhood, Tearing and the terrorizing the neighborhood kids and making the adults speak in weird noises and dogs flying around and it was going to oh, be that, that doesn't sound very it, good anyway. It's Friday the thirteenth, Charlie Brown, but oh, um, no, no. I also no, didn't no, get to no. the one where the two knuckleheads get captured uh, by a dragon and they're put in a in a mine to dig for. I, I just I didn't. No one, no one, no one would watch that, John. No one. Would it's watch tough. That. It's tough to break into Hollywood. <laughs> what can I say? uh are, are things going any better for you um yeah i guess they're going okay um still just you know slaving away in the print mines getting these books out uh i heard I'm, you overheard a musical uh act from somewhere in the distance that's a nice change of pace i did i i heard i heard some music wafting down the tunnels of the mines it was it was enjoyable it was enjoyable I wish I wish I could hear some music once in a while. I could sing to you. I I'd go for it. La, 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 la. I I I think that's got me. I I can go about 6 months on that. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you though. Thank you. Cuz cuz I I think I wore out my voice there. I got to <laughs> got to let it recover now. 
it's dusty down here. You got to protect your voice. Uh, so, um, yeah, we, we got a, there's a busy, a busy weekend, uh, coming up here. Like emo goths have been wanting this free RPG day stuff. Oh, yeah. And and I've only found like a hundred copies here. Have you gotten a bunch of it? We, we I've, I've found some, uh, you know, working, working 24 seven and then having overtime on top of that is, is really exhausting. Yeah. Tell me about it. Hopefully, hopefully it's worth it somehow to somebody. I don't know. But yeah, I, fa I found uh, a bunch of these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got those too. I got those too also. You got those? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the, the Sunken Temple of Set. Like, yes. uh, this. Judges Guild Dark Tower adventure. It, it does. Um, it does. But it's a brand new adventure all new, on its all own. New material. Uh, yeah. R written by Chris Doyle. Who has done a lot of D and D stuff for Goodman Games? I've heard the name, yeah, yeah. Um, so obviously, you can tell by the cover and the name; it's got kind of an Egyptian feel to it. Um, there's a lot of crocodiles and uh, things like that. Yes, there you go, giant crocodile. Um, so it's a good, it's a great short fifth edition adventure, and like. It's got some new monsters, new spells, new magic items. So even if you don't use the adventure as is, there is stuff you can pull out of it for your campaign. Right. And and I took a little look at it, and I really like the um, I'm trying to think how to describe it without spoiling it, but just like the kind of the physicality of the way that it is. The with kind the, of environment with the covers and the read. pages and oh you mean the, okay yeah so, yeah that there's the, there's these papers inside this cover thing but also the adventure the adventure the, the 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 this environment that the characters have to move through i i just i like that change that's in there that mixture that's in there yeah, yeah. uh without spoiling anything which we try not to do here we um, try not to We've also got for free RPG day a day a tomb of the savage kings by Stephen Newton, I believe. Yes, Did absolutely. I get that right? Yes, and the, uh, the and master of horror. Again, Stephen you can tell Newton. by the cover it has uh, an Egyptian theme. I don't know if this was on purpose or just by accident that both of these adventures have an Egyptian theme to them. But it's somewhat uh, Egyptian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. One, I hadn't even put that together. Yeah, and this so this one has kind of in the backstory has ties to Harley Stroh's famous Doom of the Savage Kings adventure, um, but yeah, but this is this is a great little adventure. I really like this one. It's got this lots is, of this is an image they tried yeah. to show off the other night and it didn't work, so I just thought I'd show that one off because there was there was a show about this. Yeah, and, it's got uh, uh, lots of uh, cool puzzles and monsters and you get to decipher hieroglyphics and things like that yeah. um, it's a lot of good um a lot of good puzzly kind of uh conundrum sort of things uh but, to but figure the, out in here for the combat people there's plenty of fights too like i will i will say i'm going to throw out there baboon ghouls the baboon uh, ghouls yes and and i have not run this adventure but the the final fight and it looks like it's gonna be a difficult battle for anybody like it looks like a tough one uh yeah yeah i was actually uh in a play test of this that steven ran oh nice and um yeah it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun i'm not sure i'm not sure how much changed between that and what's in the actual book but i, I think largely it's much very much the same I'm, I'm sure he took out everything that you did all your parts everything i everything i yeah. ruined he removed right. but <laughs> yes yes yeah 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 the the the, so. the the evilness the evil touch that i brought to it he took that out. i was like we can't have that but, right. but that's so, all of the so. that's all of the probably all of the evil stuff we have to cover though right uh, well, Mummies we got we got those and yeah those, and those 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 two adventures are available for free RPG day. If you have a participating store, you can just show up there on what's it this Saturday? Is it this Saturday? It is the sixteenth. Yeah, that's this Saturday. This Saturday, and, you show and, up and, and they give it to you. 
and for those that don't have that opportunity, the PDF will be available on the Goodman Games site shortly thereafter. I don't mm -hmm. know exactly what that timing is going to be, but it has to be after the day for the PDF to show up. Right. It'll be soon. Soon, though. And the, yeah, yeah, and the, it very much in the short term. But then in the slightly longer term, I believe it's after mid-November or somewhere around mid-November, if there are any physical copies remaining, they will go up on a site. Oh, okay. So if you miss it on the 16th, PDFs will be available and possibly physical copies available in about a month or so. Can't, cool. can't guarantee that that'll happen or how many copies that will be, but there's a chance for it. So. There's yeah. always hope. There's always hope. So uh, yeah, I was I was slaving away the other day and I uh, scared out of my mind by what I found, John. Well, because I found I found the new DCC horror adventure. Wait, I thought we were done with horror. We did those two things with like mummies and ghouls and and crocodile. You're saying it's, there's more horror? It consumes. It consumes. What does it consume? By, by Thor and Thompson. Yes, this is DCC horror number seven brand new just came out um, all right and basically the the premise is your characters are are called to check in on this mining village because the mine shipment haven't haven't shown up so you're sent there and you find that the the whole everyone in the village has disappeared where have they gone um uh, there's everything is em empty left to rot and uh, you find that there's this white snow like stuff everywhere that tastes delicious and and by the <laughs> end of the adventure, you have to ask yourself, am I consuming it or is it consuming me. Uh -huh. Okay, and is that so, a funnel is that a first level. Uh, it's a second level adventure second um, level adventure yeah we should say the the savage kings is also a second level adventure. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's important and information the, we forgot the, to mention. The uh, Sunken Temple of Set is a seventh level D&D &D adventure. Right. So um, it, it consumes, um, is very obviously inspired by a particular certain uh, 80s B-movie, which I'm not going to name. I don't want to give away anything. You don't want to um, spoil it? But if you if you really want it spoiled, I will be running the adventure on this very Twitch channel um on awesome. the 27th at 9 p.m eastern so all right check, check it out all and you're you, saying that movie you. got made but the one i was suggesting didn't is not gonna yeah yeah not, you need you need better ideas John. that's not happening okay. sorry sorry all right well maybe maybe uh with your playthrough i'll get some ideas for another movie we could take the movie that became an adventure back into a movie oh is that that's like is that movie, original movie enough? Or is that, I don't know. Is that I, doubly derivative? I can't tell anymore. It's it's hard to say. It's hard to say. <laughs> what uh, what else you have you found in the mines, John? Oh well, um, I don't know about you, but my back is hurting lately. Oh yeah, because there's been a lot of this massive thing, <sighs> and this is just one of them. But you know. I must have dug up hundreds of them. Yeah, I've been I've been carrying those things back and forth. Oh, it's rough, man. Rough. The Temple of Elemental Evil, OAR number six. In this two the, volumes. This is the three D portion of our broadcast. Three D House uh, yeah, of Evil. Two, two two books in a slipcase. Two different covers. You've got the classic uh dave trampier cover there and then the later i'm not actually not sure who did this art is it parkinson or who it looks like parkinson maybe DC, yeah i don't know you maybe know one of, those, one of those one of those tsr guys one of those mid 80s tsr people and of course you know little doug kovacs there in the front yeah little little doug kovacs never hurts anything no you could have a lot and it's good but uh yeah so this is the representation of the original adventure uh, the original super module, I should say, from TSR from the mid 80s, which I never played uh, back in the day. I never played either. It was in a little lull and I never actually got a chance to play it. Um, but yeah, the original completely presented here in facsimile, uh, fifth edition conversion of the entire thing. And 
the thing the, the the thing I would point out is that the fifth edition version um, takes elements that were left vague or undefined in the original and goes ahead and fleshes them out. So even if you're not playing fifth edition, you can make use of the ideas and concepts that are in that material and port it into whatever version you're running this with, whether you're yeah. doing old D&D or you're doing DCC or whatever. So you've got a lot to work with here. This is a campaign unto itself. Yeah, I think it says it, uh, it's supposed to take you from first level to seventh level, I think. Uh, what it yes. says. Yeah. So yes. That'll, that'll get those uh, boring levels out of the way pretty quickly, and then you can be a superhero. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, you can then take on the entire world. Because, because clearly you're going to the survive temple. the Temple of Elemental Evil. Well, everyone does, right? There's never yeah. been a TPK in the Temple of Elemental no. Evil. That would be ridiculous. No. That's absurd. But no, it's a it's a massive uh, a massive set. It's got. I, I was reading the articles actually in the front. Of, I think this is volume one. Yeah. Oh, you so got this it. is one. Totally, you got volume. it. You got it for the articles. I know. Yeah, I got it for the articles. I only read these for the articles. Uh, but yeah, it was interesting reading the development of it and seeing like the original hand-drawn maps that, you know, went on to become the maps of Hamlet and all the rest. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's a great set. It comes in a slip case. I don't know if I can reassemble it on the fly, but you get, you get all this. Well, don't, don't worry. That's what we have minions for. This is for, uh, uh, what is it? A hundred bucks? 99.99. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was slightly, it's, slightly wrong. It's a lot of book. It's a lot of slightly book. off, but yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know. What is that? Four and a half, five inches or something. Four inches. At least. It's gigantic. Least. It's gigantic. Uh, and, and now maybe I'll get to either play it or run it. Well, good luck. Which I wouldn't there. mind, which I would not mind. Let's see. So that's Let's all the see. evil. That's all the evil for the week, right? We've oh no, 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 no! There's... The evil tomb of the savage kings. We've got the evil temple of sunken temple of set. The evil it consumes. The the evil of the temple of elemental evil. No, we we have we're yet, fresh we, out of evil. We have yet to talk about the most evil thing I found, John. This, what would this that was be? this was all just the warm up to the most evil thing. Oh, I see. I see. Um, you had a plan, is what you're telling me. Yes, yes, I had a plan. Thank you for following along. All right. All um, right. We have in the minds Tales from the Magician's Skull, issue Ooh. number six. I have one of those here. This is yes. I've been keeping this. I've been keeping this by the rock that I sleep on, and dipping <laughs> into it, and it's it's very good. It's very very good. So uh, I, I just read a nice little story about a vampire. So it's totally seasonally appropriate as well. Right. It's great. It's great. Um, that do you oh, i think i think emo goth is on the way oh we better get out of here then i'm going this way i'm going this way I'm Emo Goth the Danged, and I am so, so thrilled to be able to bring you a very special guest, the Magician Skull himself. Oh, oh, I'm not worthy. 
I'm not worthy. Skull, how are you? I am exquisitely delighted that you have brought me to your show. That is fantastic. I am so, I'm a big, big fan. I am such a big fan. Oh, so tell us a little bit about uh, issue number six. Why is it special? It is tremendous. It is stuffed to the brim with amazing fiction. But perhaps you refer to the first official authorized pastiche. The first new fiction of Lankmar, written by the illustrious Nathan Long. It's that, glorious. That is glorious. Now, how did uh, Nathan Long get this job? Mm, he was selected by Goodman and the editor Jones, and then I oversaw his work, and I was most pleased. Will, will there be more tales from him with these characters? Yes, yes, will, there shall. Will there be other tales by other authors, or is he the only one that's authorized? Currently, we are planning only for him. It ah. depends upon how happy he is with the gruel we have given him. Oh, minions love gruel. Yes. So what about the other stories in issue six? Tell us. Ah, oh, it is fabulous. We have many of our returning authors, such as James Ng, who returns with a tale of Morlock. We have a tale from John Chris Hawking featuring Benus, the King's Blade. We have one from Jones starring Hanavar. We have one of Doolin and Parno from Violet Milan. And we have newcomer Greg Mele. Oh, yes, fantastic. And glorious activities page. You must see it to believe it. Oh. And many of my fine speeches spread throughout the magazine. Also, I have answered many letters sent to my magazine. Yes, as always, always as always, there's also DCC stats. Yes, yes. Now, I am not a role player myself, but I understand it is of some interest to the minions. Yes. Um, let me ask you a, a more general question. Uh, why, why a magazine at all? Is it part of your plot for world domination? My plot is to get sword and sorcery into the hands of all mortals throughout every realm. And this is but the first step. And you will conquer the world through sword and sorcery then? Sword and sorcery is the greatest of all genres. All must read it and delight. So it's not really about conquering the world? It is about sword and sorcery, you foolish worm. Have ah. I not made that clear? Ah, yes, perfectly clear, sir. Perfectly clear. Good. Uh, well, um, how long uh, does an issue take to make, generally speaking? Ah, well... It depends upon how many minions uh, uh, have uh, accidents. Uh, ah. there are some of these- Those minions are clumsy, yes. Yes, yes, there, there was a small matter of some getting smashed in the printing press, but matters have been cleared away now. Uh, yes, I, I think in the future we shall see, since the stars are right, that more issues shall be forthcoming more swiftly than ever, stuffed to the brim with glorious sword and sorcery. Ah, ha. Well, oh, sorry. I just wanted to cackle maniacally there. Uh, so from uh, one overseer to another, uh, could I ask you for some advice? How, I how, shall be happy to assist. How do I get more productivity out of my minions? My minions are so lazy. Hmm. Well, let me ask you this. How regularly do you improve their gruel? Improve? Yes. I don't understand. Yes. I have discovered that if you occasionally give them additional gruel when they have performed well, they are most jubilant 
and then more ah, eager to please than ever. Extra gruel. Noted. Yes. Also, I permit them to compose songs, extolling my virtues. Do you allow them to do this? Oh, they sing them while they work. And it sing it. Work songs. Ah, work songs. Yes, I've heard of those. Yes, yes. yes. Brilliant. You are brilliant. I know. Oh, I am so thrilled to be here with you, the magician Skull. Oh. As well you should be. Well, I... I'm afraid I have to go get back to flogging my minions, um, but it was a it was a delight to have you here, sir. And, and please, please come back again. Please. Ah, if time permits, I shall. Thank you for having the wisdom to let me participate on your show. Oh, wisdom is one of my prime virtues. Excellent. think we dodged him again i think so was that did i hear the skull was that the magician's skull talking to emo goth i think we are lucky I, to be alive i don't know who or what that was but i just felt a palpable presence of supreme evil i, I don't know yeah if that was a skull then i guess that was a skull i think it was a skull not a I, skull v skull Whew, I don't, anyway uh, I, I i hope that doesn't happen again because that was a little too much I think I'm going to have to go. To I think go I think down. I think I think the only way to prevent that from happening again is if everybody goes to the Goodman Games store online and buys issue number six and it sells out. Like that's really the only way. Yeah, I'm going to send this one uh, to the surface as soon as I can, just just on the hope that that doesn't come back, whatever that was, because oh, I can't get my heart to calm down here. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I'm exhausted. Yeah, I I seriously could use a nap. Of course, I mean that's all the time anyway. I could that's, I could always true. use a nap. So uh, yeah, I think this is where at the point of the show where we uh, thank our viewers for tuning in, and uh, then yeah. we tell them to go spend all their money at the Goodman Games store, and uh, then we maybe say what we're gonna do next show a little bit. Maybe next time we can talk about. Um, Greatest Thieves of Lankmar, perhaps. Ooh, um, that would be good. Yeah, I'll or, go for that. Or uh, Empire of the East, maybe. Oh, yeah, we didn't. Oh, well, okay, yeah, we could do it next time. Yeah, Empire well, we'll, we'll get to it one of these times. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, thank, every, thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in. And uh, thank you, Elena, for actually running the show. Uh... Don't forget on free RPG day, you're supposed to get your butts to a friendly neighborhood store. Get that is correct. To be specific. That is correct. Yes. Right. If you RPG go to your friendly, day. if you go to your friendly neighborhood hardware store, they won't have them. Well, you never know. I mean, anyway, uh, yeah, three days away, free RPG day. Uh, and then, oh, well, the other thing that's coming up probably before our next show is the Empire of Cyclops Con. Oh, yes. Is November, November 5th through the 7th, I think. The, the it's first Friday, weekend Saturday, of November. First, yeah. first, first Friday, Saturday, Sunday of November. Yeah, whatever. I think it's the 5th is the Friday. Fifth, fifth but anyway, 7th. that's coming up too. So. Information you, you on might, that. You on might, you might uh, run into some familiar faces if you wander around the dealer's hall and come to the Goodman Games booth. That, that could happen. We've been press ganged before, so, you know, it could happen again. Ah. Well, that's all. Go clearly, away now. clearly, we're tired. <laughs> go, go away now. <laughs>